Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. The Vatican has confirmed that Pope Francis asks all bishops in the world to join him on March 25, 2022 for the Fatima consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. On the Feast of the Annunciation, Pope Francis will consecrate Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Pope invites bishops from around the world to join him in the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This will occur at 5 p.m. Rome time on Friday the 25th of March in St. Peter's Basilica. The act of consecration will be performed in communion with the local churches throughout the world. Many bishops' conferences from around the world have already agreed to join. These include the bishops of Latin America, Poland, the Philippines, Ireland and the United Kingdom. The U.S. bishops were sent an urgent letter by the Apostolic Nuncio to the United States, Archbishop Christophe Pierre, about joining the consecration. The letter was sent by Rev. Michael Fuller, General Secretary of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. Sister Joseph has been elected as the first Indian new superior of St. Mother Teresa's Order, the Missionaries of Charity. Sister M. Joseph Michael, a native of southern India's Kerala state, is the new superior of the Missionaries of Charity, that was founded by St. Mother Teresa. Elected by the General Chapter in Calcutta, she takes the place of Sister Mary Prima Pirik, who had led the sisters since 2009. Brought up in Calcutta alongside Mother Teresa, at 68 years old, she was currently superior for Kerala. Sister Joseph was elected by the general chapter of the religious who met in the mother house in Calcutta and takes the place of Sister Prima, the German-born nun who led the missionaries of charity for two mandates from 2009 to today. Sister Joseph becomes the fourth nun called to lead the sisters, known throughout the world for their presence next to the poorest. After Saint Teresa of Calcutta, foundress of the missionaries of charity who died in 1997, the congregation was led by the Nepalese sister Nirmala Joshi, who also founded the contemplative branch of the sisters. The pilgrim statue of Our Lady of Fatima has arrived in Ukraine from the site of the miraculous apparitions in Portugal. The special limited edition replica of the miraculous statue of Our Lady of Fatima has arrived in Ukraine. A ceremony was broadcast live from the Church of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin, Lviv Sykiv, Ukraine, where the faithful gathered together with Metropolitan Igor of Lviv. The statue will remain there until April 15, 2022. The pilgrim statue of the Virgin of Fatima has gone to Ukraine as a messenger of peace. This trip answers a formal request from the Archbishop and Metropolitan of the Greek Catholic Church of Lviv, Ihor Vozniak. War is not answered with war, evil is not answered with evil, hatred is not answered with hatred, and for this reason the Lord today calls to our hearts, be merciful as your Father is merciful, the chaplain said before the pilgrims present at the Chapel of Apparitions. Father Joachim Ganhau also considered that there is no other way, if not the way of overflowing love to the end, that love that God poured into us and incarnated in us, today, in this concrete circumstance of our life and our history. We are facing a war that involves all of us, and, let us entrust ourselves to the Mother of Mercy and Queen of Peace, let us pray for our brothers who suffer most, let us pray for an end to the war in Ukraine and everywhere else, let us pray for so many innocent victims, he said. The Metropolitan of Lviv, Ihor Vozniak, made a formal request to the Shrine of Fatima on March 10, asking that the Pilgrim Virgin image of Fatima be sent to Ukraine so that we can pray, asking for her protection so that peace may return to the country. The image, which will remain in Ukraine for a month, will depart from Lisbon to Warsaw, Poland, where it will be welcomed and transported by the Greek Catholic community of Lviv. The statue is a replica of an image designed and conceived according to the instructions of the Servant of God, Sister Lucia of Jesus, and solemnly crowned by the Archbishop of Avora on May 13, 1947. The Pilgrim Virgin goes to meet the communities, echoing the message that Our Lady left us here, from the first hour, and, at the present moment, it is undoubtedly a very important journey, as a messenger of peace, and as a mother who invites her children to peace, 
the priest said in a statement to the media at the end of the celebration. Since 1947, the different images of the Pilgrim Virgin of Fatima have traveled throughout the world, carrying with them a message of peace and love. Pope Francis spoke via video call, with Russian Orthodox Patriarch Kirill, to discuss the war in Ukraine. The Pope, called on church leaders, to use the language of Jesus, not that of politics. The call focused, on the war in Ukraine and on the role of Christians, and their pastors, in doing everything to ensure that peace prevails. Watch our program every Friday at 7.30pm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.